Ladies and gentlemen, we are all set for your co-main event of the night. Your co-main event is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Be heard. Five rounds for the inaugural World Series of Fighting Bantamweight World Championship title. And now, introducing fighting out of the blue corner, his record, 10 victories, two defeats, two wins coming by way of knockout, six by submission. He is currently on a three-fight win streak. He stands five feet, six inches tall, and weighed in at 135 pounds. He fights out of Spokane, Washington. Introducing Introducing the finisher, Josh Reddinghouse. And now, his opponent on my right, across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His record, 12 wins, 4 defeats, 1 draw. 4 wins coming by way of knockout, 3 by submission. He is on a 6-fight win streak. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall and weighed in at 135 pounds. He fights out of Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, presenting Marla! Keys to victory, as he always does, does use movement to avoid the takedown. Get in Redding's house, guard when the fight does go to the ground. Get no get Redding house in his guard. That's what I mean. Your referee is Jason Herzog. Over the rules in the back this is for the lightweight championship. There are no final questions from you, Blue. No final questions from you, Red. Touch gloves, come out ready to fight. Here we go. This is going to be a high-paced action. First round, fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Scoot back, scoot back, all the way back, all the way back. Let's fight! So here we go in the Bantamweight division. This is for the belt, scheduled for five rounds. Whoa, wow. Moraes comes out so fast, and Reddinghouse does a great job, knocked to the ground, and here comes Moraes. One minor mistake by Reddinghouse, and can Moraes make him pay for it early? Look how he escapes that single leg. Very nicely done. He has to watch out, though. Great takedown defense here by Moraes. But you see, there you see his speed already. Yep. Reddinghouse is no turtle. He came out an awfully quick and a nice recovery. And right now, he's just getting his wits about him after surviving that flurry in the first 20 seconds. For his back. Wow, Moraes going for a No. Okay, control. Pull out again. I was like, whoa, hey, that, that's going to make it interesting. The question huh? is, how quickly can Reddinghouse shake out those cobwebs as Marlon Moraes was able to pounce on him, do some damage, and now we're back up standing. Ross, is it possible that Marlon has gotten bigger, more cut, and faster than the last time we saw him. <laughs> yeah, he looks like it, right? I was just going to say the same thing. He looks more powerful. Oh, big right overhand. Reddinghouse does score a point, but he comes back and pays the price. Wow. Again, great takedown defense here by Moraes. Reddinghouse is uh, relentless, though, coming yeah. forward, pushing, pushing. And he was able to land that punch after Moraes came with the overhand right. So an interesting chess match early on here. This one's scheduled for five as we approach three minutes to go here in round number one. Well, he's going to cross face. Yeah. Oh, no, now he's going to go actually for rear naked. Look at this. Boy, he is strong enough. He can get this thing sinking in. You see Reddinghouse dropping his chin. It's very smart. Push it against his jaw. You know, you got to push it to the side. This defense, I'm not a big fan of. Just straight. Moraes right. is trying to put it out of hook yeah. in, but he couldn't do it. Trying to stretch him out. Fishing again. Reddinghouse gets up and the oh. takedown for Reddinghouse. I think this is the first time we've seen him on his back, right? Yeah, this is the first time we've seen someone able to take him down and put him into a difficult situation. Not terrible, but a difficult situation. Now Moraes trying to figure this one out. He's got to go back to sitting up. Lean on his hand, like he's doing now, he's going for it. You see Reddinghouse right away, he wants to pull that away. He wants to 
make sure that Mirage cannot sit on his butt because that would be the start. In this case, going for a leg lock there. Yeah, he is. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Reddy now spins out of it, tries to get a punch, misses badly on the uppercut. Back on their feet. Marlon barely looks winded here. Redding House trying to mount some offense. Well, he said it. He's always the first one yep. in the gym and the last one to leave. <laughs> and this is where it pays off. Marlon Moraes on the left side of your screen. Josh Redding House coming in. Redding House is uh, is game. Yeah, he is. The Bantamweight belt is on the line here. At World Series of Fighting Nine. Another takedown attempt by Redding House. Great defense for Moraes again. Pound for pound, the upper body strength of Marlon Moraes is just impressive. It's impressive, yeah, but you know, the Redding House, if he keeps going, yep. and if he's got stamina a lot, he might be able to take him down maybe to later rounds. The fight goes there. Under a minute to go here in round number one. After a very fast start where it looked like Marias was going to possibly end this one quickly. All credit to Josh Reddinghouse. Great defense, able to survive the flurry. Nice check there, Loki check. He's bringing combinations, and you got to respect the level. He's going up, he's going low, he's going midsection. Marias started the fight off with a really nice low kick. I haven't seen that anymore. Oh. Just a slip there on Redding House as we go under 20 seconds to go. So bad when people left then. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, that's the low kick back. We've got a good one here in the Bantamweight division. We will see a second round when we return to Las Vegas. You're watching the World Series of Fighting on NBCSN. Don't grab on the cage, okay? No, 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 no. Our colleague BJ Flores, NBC's Fight Night analyst, in attendance here in Las Vegas for a good one in the Bantamweight division. Marla Marias taking on Josh Reddinghouse for the inaugural belt in that division here at the World Series of Fighting Nine. Alongside Joey Varner and Boss Root, and I'm Todd Harris. Glad to have you with us on a beautiful fight night here in Vegas. All right, Boss, let's talk about round number one, and we'll have to get our comments in quickly because this thing could end quickly for either fighter. Round number one, uh, ooh, yeah, I think I have to give though, yes, to Moraes. Yeah, you yeah. know, he, he attacked him more, he connected more. But Redding House, his combinations he's throwing, yeah. you know, and at the end of the round, he threw a cross and a little kick. You know, I think uh, he, he's doing a really good job in mixing it up. Redding House is a very tough fighter, accomplished, coming in with a record of 10 and 2, six submissions, two knockouts. He has the speed, he certainly has the skills, great footwork. It's just that right now, Marta Moraes is just a little quicker and a little more power. Yeah, I, if I would have been in Moraes' corner, I would say uh, throw more low kicks. Wow, set him up though with shots. Big overhead just missing there for Moraes. Nice movement here, Redding House, throwing him off. Sliding side to side. Slide to the left. You know, I think Marias, what's so impressive when you watch him fight, we've seen him over the course of a couple of years, is he's always, it looks like he's always thinking, trying to figure out the best move, calculating. It's not just going there and throwing big haymakers and rights and yep. looking for, he's always thinking angles, he's always thinking strategy, what my, what's my opponent doing? And it's impressive to watch him fight. It is, it really is. He's figuring his opponent out. While he's fighting, you know, when it comes to the territory, he yeah. said that he was watching a lot of footage all the time. Yeah. You know, and that's what you do as a fighter. You watch, watch, watch. What, what, what would I do? Oh, wait, wait a minute. He's doing this when he, just before he throws a punch. You start noticing these things. This is very important. To kick that lead leg. You know. Because Same reason why Peyton Manning's such a good quarterback. He spent so much time in the film room. That is. It's how you do it. You know, spend a lot of time in it. You're going to be good. He needs to slow him down in the legs so, uh, for the takedowns. He can't take the risk in the later rounds. Maybe even if it goes to the later rounds, in the championship rounds, uh, he can't afford a takedown. 
It's a big opportunity for Reddinghouse with a belt on the line, getting the World Series of Fighting's very best in Marlon Marias. That was a nice kick. He started slow with that, and then pop, he threw it out. And that was the kick of Reddinghouse. So far, this has turned in. This round has turned into more of a standing attack. And who would you favor on this one? If you had to say, I'm, I'm putting all my chips in one corner. <laughs> I won't put my chips in one corner. What, what kind of expression is that? Put my chips it's, in the it's corner. It's a new one. It's a new one. You might yeah. <laughs> okay, I like this movement, the crazy movement that Reading House is doing, throwing them off. Move to the left, look at that. People are like, yeah, it's stupid. No, it's not stupid. It's really smart. Be unpredictable. Trying to show Morea something different right now, confusing if possible. Short, quick combinations in and out. To top of the knee there. I think that hurt both fighters. You see Reddinghouse, as you pointed out, switching up his stances. He's doing, yep, and a, a, a crazy movement. But the way he stands in one line, it's very hard for him to block that low kick. So round one, more of a ground battle. Here we are in round two of five, coming up on 90 seconds to go, and this one's become a striking stand-up war. Yeah, I think um, Reddinghouse is saving his power for the later rounds, man. For, for takedowns. Give him a feeling, no, I'm gonna strike with you. You know, a whole round, then the first beginning of round number uh, three fell. Wow, close quarters and Reddinghouse, brave man to get in there with Marias. Yep, and Marias is detecting it. He's going for that low kick. I know you like what Reddinghouse is doing because you always mm -hmm. preach if you're gonna come in, get a combination off, not just a single shot. And that, that's what he exactly did on the single low kick. Can throw one point, she might as well throw two or three. Constantly changing his stance, Reddinghouse showing southpaw, then switching back. This time goes low. Small victory there as he catches Moraes, pretty much just trips him up, almost walked right into a leg kick. Yeah, that was. Um, I, I would have waited a little bit, like a whole round just striking. That leg is going to hurt him. You see this getting a little bit red on the lead left leg of Reddinghouse on the outside of his calf where Reyes is attacked. Oh. Seconds. And a bit of a slip there as Reddinghouse says, you know what, bring what you got. We will see a third round of five when we return to Vegas. Back in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in the joint. You are watching World Series of Fighting 9. Third round now in the Bantamweight division for the inaugural belt. Marlon Moraes in the primarily black trunks, taking on Josh Reddinghouse in the primarily red trunks. And you got to think that Reddinghouse's confidence has got to be building just a little bit. He's doing something that not many fighters can say they've done. And that's going into three rounds with Marlon Moraes. Yes. In the last six fights, only happened twice with Moraes. Hempelman and Torres both yep. getting there. So Josh Reddinghouse doing a fantastic job here with Marlon Moraes, showing him all kinds of different angles, changing up the footwork. Moraes, to his credit, though, seems like he's not biting on it. He's kind of just waiting back, waiting for his opportunity. Yeah, he's looking, like you said, he doesn't like to waste a lot of energy. He likes to make it count. And if you see something, go for that. Figure your opponent out. And by the way, Reddinghouse is moving. It's very hard to figure him out. One of the features of Marlon Moraes is so impressive. His training, his fitness are always spot on. Doesn't even look like he's breathing heavy. There's that yeah. kick again. He's, he's hurt. You see, you can tell. Reddinghouse having a hard time putting pressure down on that lead left leg, and this is similar to what a, 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 Hempelman, right? a Jose Aldo would do, too. He'll just start attacking that lead leg, and there it is again. But Brendan Hempelman, he, he got also his yep. legs destroyed by Marias, I believe. And, boss, for the folks at home that are new to this sport, those kicks to the lead left leg, and now it's got Reddinghouse changing his stance. Maybe not hurting so much right now. What's tomorrow morning going to be like for him? It's going to be bad. You know, uh, the whole week, Every time when you sit down, you think about more eyes. 
So this round, it's the lead kicks, and Reddinghouse is just taking punishment on that left leg. If you get a look at the left side, it is starting to weld up. Big red mark right where Marais has just hit the target multiple times. So it's going to be harder for him to take Marais down on one, only one leg. Yeah. So as, as soon as he gets in close, Marais, there it is again. Oh, look at that. Fires it off. And he, now he really showed that he was in pain, which is not a good thing to do. Now you give him a real target. Ask the likes of Uriah Faber what's that like. Taking Brazilian kicks to the leg oh. for five rounds. Google, Google uh, Uriah Faber leg. Not a pretty sight. That's it's the craziest thing you've ever seen. They had to drain it. It was black purple the whole life. So Marlon Marias oh. just firing off the kicks, disabling his opponent right now. And Reddinghouse sensing he's got to do something, closes in a little quicker. And unfortunately, that's like ch chasing the Cobra down the hole, as Marlon Marias would love to get him in close quarters. Oh, wow. Snapping another one off. That's it. If he plays his card straight now, if he plays his card right, then he's going to take home the victory. Because right now, he's shutting him down. He's what can you do, though, if you're Josh Reddinghouse at this point? You know, you have to you have to counter on the right low kick, or you have to start blocking them, checking them, but obviously you can't see them coming, because otherwise he would have done it sooner, I think. Switching to southpaw is maybe good as well, but can he fight well yeah. from southpaw? Maybe just to throw his opponent his opponent up. But if your home base is uh, right-handed, orthodox. 90 seconds to go here in round number three. This one's scheduled for five with the inaugural Bantamweight belt on the line here at the World Series of Fighting. Mara Marias really taking control of this fight here in round number three with the leg kicks. Reddinghouse operating really on two semi-deflated wheels, and that's not going to help the cause. Now he should look down and kick him in the head. You know, he's going to expect another low kick. Just look down, even point at the leg. That's what I would do. Point at the leg like that. I'm going to kick that, but then kick high. Don't even blink up. Just kick. Reddinghouse carrying the pride of the great state of Washington, the Pacific Northwest, and takes another shot. Yeah. And Marais is just snapping those off like a surgeon. And mixing them up with strikes. It's not like he's constantly throwing the low kick. Oh, that grazed over his head. Oh, oh. oh and a second one. Reddinghouse is in trouble. Marais goes to work. And Reddinghouse just unable to get up on those That's legs. It. Now it's He's the knee. It's very smart. Knees Herzog is looking on. Does he stop the fight? Marais is looking for spots to attack. He should need the thigh. Because right now, the, the thigh is even more relaxed. Can Reddinghouse hold on under 10 seconds to go here in round number three? Does he want to see a jump. fourth round? He's looking for a bulldog. Can he pull it now? He's rolling out. Reddinghouse, great defense. And he survives. The big question is, can Reddinghouse get to his corner, and how much damage has been done? Yeah, two more rounds. It's a long oh time. Boss, I'm going to have you lay out. I'll lay out. We will just listen in, and folks, you can hear just how pronounced these kicks are coming from Marlon Moraes. <laughs> And that is complete survival mode for Reddinghouse as he was able to survive the last 35, 40 seconds of that round. But talk about the punishment he took there. I, I give him credit to battle through that. I, I cannot believe he made it through that. It's, uh, it's very hard. It's very hard because your leg is going to shut down. You know, we'll see if he can survive this round. Hempelman did. I was, I was amazed with that also. Jason Herzog is talking to Josh Reddinghouse. You are looking at World Series of Fighting 9. This for the Bantamweight belt between Josh Reddinghouse on the right of your screen and Marla Moraes on the left. Alongside Boss Root and Joey Varner, Jazz Secure, I'm Todd Harris. Glad to have you with us here live on NBCSN. Sad but true, but we all know what's coming. Marla Moraes is going to go right after the leg of Josh Reddinghouse, isn't he? Of course he is. There we go. It starts. And Reddinghouse now knows, yeah, he's in pain. If Reddinghouse can get this thing to the ground, and that's exactly what he's going to try to do, 
try to get Marlon Moraes to come down and have a ground game with him. Moraes' uh, corner is telling him just back out, just yeah, back walk out. Walk away. Why would you even go there? Don't let him relax. Just if you got away. two bad wheels and you look at the bruising on the side of the wow. leg of Reddinghouse, that is tremendous, tremendously painful. The thigh and the left calf of Josh Reddinghouse are just hammered. And he fights on. He's moving now. Yeah, he's got a lot of heart. Switching stance, inside low kicks now. Boom. Huge respect for Reddinghouse, who can barely stand, and both legs have just been attacked by Moraes. And he keeps coming forward. Boss, you agree with this? I mean, is Reddinghouse doing the right thing, or is this, this the only thing? It's just survival mode, yeah. I mean, if the referee's not going to say anything, why not doing it? I remember Ali and uh, Antonio Inoki. You know, and uh, Inoki was kicking from this position. Inoki was on the ground and then kicking low kicks to Ali's leg. I just spent, I heard, three weeks in the hospital after that fight. And now Reddinghouse unable to put really any pressure on the left leg, but he fights on. Nice counter, and he comes in again. If you're our president, Ray Seffo, the World Series of Fighting, you gotta like what you're seeing, not only from Marlon Moraes, but Josh Reddinghouse for the guts that he's able to come out here and just battle on. You heard his own foot when he kicked because Moraes blocked. And Moraes just doesn't want to he doesn't want to end it like this. He, he the kick the now kick. is his right ankle. I will push the leg to the side to kick that leg there. Wow. What can we say? Halfway down. Round number four. This is round four of a scheduled five with the Bantamweight belt on the line. And Marta Moraes, I, I think he feels a little bit bad. I think he feels a little guilty that the punishment he is putting out on Josh Reddinghouse, and Reddinghouse will not go down. I don't know because he's sitting in front of him and he knew his ankle was hurt and he stopped yep. kicking the ankle. <laughs> so I don't think he I don't think he feels bad. Just stop blasting again. Reddinghouse needs to go forward. Well, there's no questioning the toughness of Josh Reddinghouse tonight as he has taken this thing into the fourth round against Marta Moraes, unable to barely stand here, and he fights on. Moraes continues to pound away, and if we get a shot at the left quad and the calf of Josh Reddinghouse, you'll see what we're talking about. It is already going purple and red. to work the other leg, but I think it's going to be too late for that. But he needs to do something because he needs that left leg to the front again. Yep. Morales needs it. Under a minute to go now in round four. Reddinghouse coming forward, throwing punches. Kicks to the body, body shots, cross through low kick. Marias is just an absolute technician now in the center of the ring as we go under 30 seconds to go here in round number four. There we go again. Stance switch. Yeah. Final 10 seconds of round number four. Josh Reddinghouse looks to be surviving, and he will see a fifth and final round, much to the dismay of Marlon Moraes. And Moraes unable to go to the ground with him, and that ends round four. Reddinghouse survives. Boss, two rounds ago, if I'd have told you Reddinghouse was continuing to round five, you thought I was crazy. I think so too, yeah, because he was showing that he was in pain. And that means once you're in a fight in pain, 
that means it hurts a lot because you should chock full of course with uh, with adrenaline and that helps with the pain but uh, not enough anymore <laughs> oh, you see care. that red welt just go oh. I mean the hematoma on that thigh just underneath those shorts right there it is just you, you hit it right on the head. It looks like what Uriah Faber had to deal with when he fought Jose Aldo. That's it. You know, for the people at home, really Google it. And you're gonna you're gonna be shocked. When I saw that leg, it looked like a, almost like a dead leg. All right. Let's see what he can do now. If he can survive this round. Wow. Thank you. I give him a lot of credit already. So here we go with the fifth and final round for the Bantamweight title, the World Series of Fighting. Mutual respect by both fighters, and now it's time to go to work. The fans here at the joint appreciating what they have seen. This has been an absolute war in MMA proportions here in the Bantamweight division of the World Series of Fighting. Reddinghouse mixing it up, trying to get a takedown. He's got to go again. His corner from Reddinghouse is addressing him. Do it again. Do it again. Get as much adrenaline he can get going into that body over the next four minutes. Jesus said that done that. No question. You know, I mean, this is the fifth round. <laughs> They've been fighting for 20 minutes. 21 minutes. Reddinghouse trying to land something, trying to come up with some magic in those gloves. Do you think Moraes has backed it down a little bit? Backed it down three. big. And I, the, I thought he would go after him now. You can still give him a right low kick. You know, just got to step in a little deeper. Two quick punches, quick jabs coming from Reddinghouse. He's going to need more than jabs, though, to get himself back in this fight. He's totally, as you said, Boss Rutten, in survival mode right now, and he will get a huge amount of respect if he can survive this full fifth round with Marlon Marias. Respect only goes so far, and you know, as a fighter, it's all about getting the win. It's all about, yeah, but you know, it's respect also. I think as a fighter, you know, when you lose respect from other fighters, I think that's yeah. the worst thing that can happen to you. He should come again. Oh, I thought he was sending it up, a low kick. But he can still do it. A simple cross hoop low kick. Right low kick. See, that it's still possible. You just have to step in, uh, step in a little deeper. Running house. I think he's just watching the club. He's, you know, suddenly he's, he's going to come, I think. But you talk about the, the organization of the World Series of Fighting. This is the kind of fighter they, they want to have here. They want the Josh Reddinghouses to come in. He may not get the win tonight, but man, has he earned a lot of respect. And I think there's going to be a lot of fighters that say, who are you going to give me next? And they're going to say Reddinghouse. And I think, oh, man, i got to prepare for at least three or five rounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Early and often will really be the way to encapsulate this fight with Marlon Moraes landing leg kicks early and often. He has been the consummate professional here in this bout. His ground game was stellar, his striking is on par, and boy, the leg kicks have just been a huge, huge force for him against Reddinghouse. No, I said after he threw the first low kick, it was such a beautiful low kick, I go, man, that will be actually a great weapon to do against a good wrestler. It's just like chopping down a tree as we go under two minutes now. This is one of those fights, boss, that you kind of think when they come to vote for fight of the year, this has got to be up there right now, early on in 2014, because the way Reddinghouse is able to stay alive and take the punishment that Marlon Moraes has been able to dish out, I think Moraes would agree, this kid is so tough. He is, you know, and he's still coming, look at that. <laughs> Right to the left kick to the body. Oh. From here, he should start kicking the legs. Yeah. He can do that now, too. Not like this. Letting how just smart. Boom! No. Last minute. 
I think Morales is just playing it safe. Big shots coming now from Marlon Morales as we go under 45 seconds to go in this one. Who would have thought it would have gone the distance all five rounds and now just big body shots coming from Morales. Oh, wow, look at that. Multi-level, trying to end it now. 30, 30 seconds. Let's see what he can do. And Redinghaus is still through some power shots. A couple of seconds ago, so one of those laps could be trouble. Final 10 seconds coming. Marlon Moraes in firm control of this one. Josh Redinghaus giving it his all. And what a scrap! The fans have to appreciate what they just saw here for the Bantamweight belt. Marla Moraes putting on a show and Josh Reddinghouse giving us a definition of courage. We'll have the official decision when we return to Las Vegas as we get set for the main event of the night. Steve Carl, the defending welterweight champion, he will put it all on the line against Brazilian sensation Pusamar Palhares. We'll have all that when we return to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Back in Las Vegas, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino World Series of Fighting 9 on NBCSN. After five rounds in the Bantamweight division, it is time to award the inaugural belt with the decision. We set it inside the cage and Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for both of these warriors tonight. After five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judges Tony Weeks, Adelaide Bird, and Junichiro Kamejo all scored 50 to 44 for your winner by unanimous decision and new World Series of Fighting Bantamweight Champion of the World, Marlon Moraes. What a show by Marlon Moraes, no question about it. He is absolutely the most dominant Bantamweight. What a, boss, complete, it's absolutely a complete fight. It was, you know, he was all over the place. He picked his shots, he, you know, it's very, he studied his opponent, like we were talking about, and just picking him apart. You know, great game plan, go for the low kicks. Shut that leg down so he take away the strike. And Reddinghouse, you know, he pulled through it. Like you said, every person who fights Reddinghouse in the future, they know they're going to have to prepare. World Series of Fighting President Ray Seffo telling Josh Reddinghouse just how great of a job he did. And it has been a great night of fights as we take a look at the Boost Mobile highlights all night long here in the joint. Welterweight, bantamweight, middleweight, lightweight, the featherweights putting on a great show here. And we really got things going early on with Boost Nefarios and Brenton Hansen. Then it was on to Gunderson and Gritzmacher, and we all thought Gunderson really had the experience to get past Gritzmacher. Not the case. Look at that. Gritzmacher would get the win over Gunderson. Bryson Hansen, the brother of Brenton Hansen. This one ended early as he pinned the head of Sean Cantor down took the blows, and the ref stepped in and stopped it. And Shane Crutchen and Mike Corey, two ex-Marines going at it. In the end, Mike Corey would end up getting the win. Beautiful take down here at this side naked chair. Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.